Excerpt from the Diary of an Unknown Passenger, Liverpool to Melbourne, 1863. The heaviest sea we have yet had breaking over the bows, to the great amusement of some and thorough drenching of others. This is the first day I have felt afraid. A whale seen at a distance spouting up water, dancing on the quarter-deck from eight till ten o'clock. A woman in the intermediate, lost, last night. Lost, last night. The first day and the last night. Heavy seas and a terrible death, described all too briefly, felt by none compensated by mere money, as though pieces of silver could be somehow converted into that other silver of the ship's wake, where her body is left behind, unhouseled, unannealed, prey to the depths, while we dance like waterflies on a surface so flimsy that all of our delight becomes necessary as a counterweight to that first flush of fear. The realisation that we float grimly atop the wild realm that has always reminded us of return, abjuration, the abandonment of a life which comes to appear a mere flight of fancy, a frail construction over the abyss whence we sprang, unarmed, to confront circumstances never of our own making, which seem to include even a whale spouting at a distance an impossible miracle of being to which we can never come too close.